Marco Polo. Seven episodes in length, all currently missing from the archives. They were all named The Roof of the World, The Singing Sands, 500 Eyes, The Wall of Lies, Rider from Shang 2, Mighty Kubla Khan, and Assassin at Peking. Who brought them? Well, it was quite a few. Australia, Canada, Singapore, Gibraltar, Malta, Aden, Nigeria, Rhodesia, Zimbabwe, Zambia, Trinidad and Tobago, Bermuda, Uganda, Jamaica, Cyprus, Ghana, Barbados, Hong Kong, Kenya, New Zealand, Thailand, Mauritius, Sierra Leone and Ethiopia. And there is currently an idea that there is nine possible prints made of this episode which is actually the most amount of episodes and most amount of prints for a story of classic Doctor Who. The master tapes were erased on August 17th 1967. Every Doctor Who episode was broadcast from videotape. The film copies that are currently surviving is copies made from the videotapes that were broadcast from. There are no currently surviving videotapes in the archives. The Marco Polo films, however, were junked in total in 1972 and 1974. And what does survive is the telesnaps. Telesnaps are the photographs of the screen that were uh, commissioned at the time by the producer. Of this story, 72 telesnaps for episode 1, 78 for episode 2, 75 for episode 3. Somehow, episode 4's telesnaps are currently missing. Then there are 70 telesnaps for episode 5, 69 for episode 6, and lastly, 80 made for episode 7. The complete soundtrack, barring a few seconds either side of the intro and outro, are of very high quality. Bit of trivia, for this story there were 14 clips as sensor clips done by Australia and New Zealand that were cut because of their gruesome or violent nature that were not able to be broadcast at the time. Remarkably however, none of these currently exist. This is the exception and not the rule. So as we go through, you will find that a lot of the clips that we have are because of these sensor clips. The Reign of Terror. Six episodes in length, two currently missing from the archives. The two missing stories are The Tyrant of France and Bargain of Necessity. The surviving episodes will return over time, episode 6 in 1982. Episodes 1, 2 and 3 were returned in 1985 with an additional copy of episode 6. Who brought them? Well, like Marco Polo, it was quite a few. Australia, Singapore, Gibraltar, Malta, Aden, Nigeria, Rhodesia, Zimbabwe, Zambia, Trinidad and Tobago, Uganda, Jamaica, Cyprus, Barbados, Hong Kong, Kenya, Mauritius, Thailand, New Zealand, Sierra Leone and Ethiopia. How many prints are there of this story? The idea is there's eight possible prints based on their broadcast dates. The master tapes of episode 1, 2, 3, 5 and 6 were erased in 1967 along with a huge bunch of other tapes and for unknown reasons the master tape for episode 4 was erased two years later in 1969. Then in 1971, New Zealand destroyed their copy of all of this story and BBC Enterprises junked their copy, presumably in full, just a year later. The other prints are currently fate unknown because the paperwork does not exist. For this story, no telesnaps were ever commissioned, meaning there are no telesnaps existing of the missing episodes. However, the BBC did make an animation for this story for the DVD. This was years after reconstructions were made by fans. The complete soundtrack, barring a few seconds either of side of the intro and outro, are of very high quality. Other bits? There are only one censorship clip made for episode 5, but sadly no longer exists. This makes one of the earliest stories of Doctor Who that has absolutely no 
visual representation surviving. A crusade. Four episodes in length, two currently missing from the archives. The episode names are The Knight of Jaffa and The Warlord. The surviving episodes were returned over time. Episode 3 in 1977, which was already in the archive when the audit was done, and Episode 1, which was returned in 1999 by a private collector. Who brought them? Australia, Gibraltar, Singapore, Nigeria, Zambia, Barbados, Mauritius, New Zealand, Sierra Leone, Jamaica, and Ethiopia. How many prints are there? The idea is that there are six possible prints of this episode based on their broadcast date. The master tapes of episode two were erased in 1967, along with a huge batch of other tapes. For unknown reason, the master tapes of episode one and four were erased two years later. BBC Enterprises junked their film copies of the story presumably in full in 1972. And two years later, the last of the master tapes, episode three, were erased also the same year, New Zealand junked their film copies of episode 2, 3 and 4. The other film prints are fate unknown because the paperwork does not exist. What survives? Amazingly, all the telesnaps survive of this story. There are 72 for episode 2 and 67 for episode 4. The soundtrack, bearing a few seconds either side of the intro and outro, are, are of very good. high quality. Galaxy 4, currently three episodes missing, those episodes are 400 Dawns, Trap of Steel and The Exploded Planet. The surviving episode was returned in the last decade, making it one of the most recent discoveries because in 2011 episode 3 named Airlock was returned by a private collector. Who brought them? Well, it was only a few. Australia, Barbados, Zambia, New Zealand, Sierra Leone and Singapore. The idea is that three possible prints are made of this story based on their broadcast dates. When were they junked? The master tapes of episode 1, 2 and 4 were raised in 1967 and episode 3 in 1969. The BBC received a shipment from Australia in 1975 that included Galaxy 4. A year later, BBC Enterprises junks all of their copies. So what has survived? Sadly, no telesnaps are made of stories, so none of them exist. Also, all 14 censorship clips do not exist. However, three are void because that episode now exists. There is also nearly six minutes of footage from episode one because clips were used for a 1977 documentary of Doctor Who called Who's Doctor Who. Even though only 30 seconds actually were used, the rest of the footage was kept. Most of the Doctor's companions have been female, and uh, there was even a story in which women played the lead part, that is the villains. We come from Drava, some 400 dawns ago. We were investigating this particular section of the galaxy. We were looking for a planet such as this, capable of supporting life, so that we might colonize it. There are too many of them on Drava. All women. Women? Yes, Feminine, female. <laughs> oh, we have a small number of men, as many as we need. The rest are killed. They consume valuable food and fulfill no particular life. Mission to the Unknown. This episode is a prologue to the future 12 part epic, The Dalek's Master Plan. Who brought them? Interestingly, no one brought it. The story goes that Australia viewed this episode and the story it follows on from and was rejected and not able to be screened, which put an end to its worldwide travels. Also, rumours are floating around that Singapore may have aired this, but it's not confirmed. How many prints of this story? The idea is that there is only one possible print of this story ever made. When were they junked? The print's fate is currently unknown because the paper doesn't exist. Sadly, there are no telesnaps ever made of this story, so only a handful of pictures exist. There are no censorship clips made due to the story being rejected. Ian Levine, who is a die-hard Who fan 
and missing episode Hunter commissioned an unofficial full animation of his story. Also, this was the very last story acclaimed producer Verity Lambert ever worked on for Doctor Who. The Myth Makers. Four episodes in length, currently all missing from the archives. The episode titles are Temple of Secrets, Small Profit Quick Return, Death of a Spy and Horse Construction. This story is the last time companion Vicky, played by Maureen O'Brien, will be featured in Doctor Who. Who brought them? Australia, Barbados, Zambia, New Zealand, Sierra Leone and Singapore. How many prints were there? The idea is that there's three possible prints based on their broadcast dates. When were they junked? The Master Tapes Episode 2, 3 and 4 were wiped in 1967. And two years later, Episode 1, the film stored at BBC Enterprise of Villiers House was junked in 1972. Australia sent their copies back of this story for the BBC to junk in 1975. Singapore's copy of this story is currently fate unknown. What does survive? Sadly, there are no telesnaps ever made of this story, so only a handful of pictures exist. Also, all 12 censorship clips do not exist, either from Australia or in New Zealand. However, one clip is partially represented in home video recordings. Out of the possible 9 home video recordings, that total 57 seconds of footage that now exists, which is the only visual record outside of a handful of set images that exists. Alex's Master Plan. 12 episodes in length, 9 currently missing from the archives. The missing episodes are The Nightmare Begins, Devil's Planet, The Traitors, Coronas of the Sun, The Feast of Stephen, Volcano, Golden Death, The Abandoned Planet, and Destruction of Time. The three surviving episodes are Day of Armageddon, Counterplot, and Escape Switch. This story follows on from the story that featured five weeks ago, Mission to the Unknown. Who brought them? Interestingly, like Mission to the Unknown, no one brought it. The story goes that Australia viewed this story along with Mission to the Unknown and both were rejected and not able to be screened, which put an end to its worldwide travels. How many prints are there of this story? Officially, there is only one possible print of this story ever made, but that is hotly contested. When were they junked? The Master Tapes Episode 1, 2, 4, 5, 7, 8 and 9 were wiped in 1967. And Episode 3, 6, 10, 11 and 12 were wiped just two years later in 1969. The film stored at BBC Enterprise of Villiers House was junked in 1974. What does survive? Sadly, like a lot of Season 4, there are no telesnaps ever made of a story, so only a handful of pictures exist. Amazingly, although so few copies were ever made, in 1983 episodes 5 and 10 were recovered from a building previously occupied by the BBC. Interestingly, it was a Mormon parish who contacted the BBC about these films. Then, in 2004, episode 2 was returned to the BBC from Francis Watson who worked at Yorkshire Television along with a redundant copy of episode 5. And like Mission to the Unknown, there were no censorship clips made of this story due to it being rejected. Remarkably, 20 images of episode 7 does exist, which is the only visual record we have of this story. These images were taken by an actor of the television on Christmas Day. Also, over 3 minutes and 30 seconds of footage exists from clips that were used in documentaries and an episode of Blue Peter during the 70s. Time ago, six years, and I think they've done very well to recognise me too because I looked quite different then. For one thing, it was in the days when I had a much shorter hairstyle. Well, the character I acted was called Stephen, and the story I remember best lasted for 12 weeks and was called Devil's Planet. The Doctor and the rest of us were investigating some strange reports from a space security system, and we were trying to find the mysterious planet that the messages were coming from. Security, but he's very close to Chen. Yes, well, this chap can't. Standing by! Cut in remote control! Now under Dalek control! 
that is the only existing record of these stories that currently exist outside of the various images. The Massacre of St Bartholomew's Eve, four episodes long, all four episodes missing. The episode titles are War of God, The Sea Beggar, Priest of Death and Bell of Doom. Who brought them? Australia, Barbados, Zambia, New Zealand, Sierra Leone and Singapore. How many prints are there? The idea is that there are three possible prints of this episode based on the broadcast dates. When were they junk? All of the master tapes were wiped in 1967. New Zealand junked their film copies in 1972. BBC Enterprises junked their copy in 1974. And Australia junked their copy in 1976. What survives? Sadly, there are no telesaps ever made of this story and both censorship clips made no longer exist. This story has an unfortunate position of being one of the only Doc 2 episodes with no existing footage. Only the soundtrack exists. The Celestial Toymaker, four episodes in length, three currently missing from the archives. Those three missing episodes are The Celestial Toy Room, the Hall of Dolls and the Dancing Floor. There is only one episode of this story in existence, and that's episode 4, The Final Test. Who brought them? Australia, Barbados, Zambia, New Zealand, Sierra Leone and Singapore. How many prints are there? The idea is that there's three possible prints made of this episode based on their broadcast dates. TARDIS HOPSCOTCH What are we supposed to do with it? Well, it's very simple really. See, each player takes one of these dice and throws them onto the triangles. And the number that you've thrown will appear up at the end there, on the dice indicator. That's to make absolutely certain that no one can cheat. And you move forward the number that you've thrown. The first one to reach triangle 14 is the winner. Easy, isn't it? It's too easy. What's the catch? No catch. First one home is the winner. When were they junked? BBC Enterprises junked their copy in 1973. All of the master tapes were wiped in 1974 and Australia junked their copy in 1976. Sadly, there are no telesnaps ever made of this story, so only a handful of pictures exist on top of the existing episode, and both censorship clips do not exist. However, one of the censorship clips features in episode 4. All the area between the triangles is electric. You'll be killed. Episode 4 was discovered in ABC's film library during the early period of 1984. This story is remembered for its racist remark and the portrayal of one of its main characters being very similar to fictional schoolboy Billy Bunter. But the most iconic of all is the main actor of this story, Michael Goff, who is a world-renowned actor that was also married to Annika Wills who played companion Polly Wright in the second Doctor's era, and he also reappeared in 1983's story Ark of Infinity. The Savages, four episodes in length, all currently missing from the archives. Interestingly, from now on, there will be no individual episode titles, they will be named episode 1, 2, 3 and 4. Who brought them? Australia, Barbados, Zambia, New Zealand, Sierra Leone and Singapore. How many prints are there? The idea is that there are three possible prints of this episode based on their broadcast dates. When were they junked? BBC Enterprises junked their copy in 1973, all of the master tapes were wiped in 1974, and Sierra Leone sent their copies back to the BBC for junking in 1974. Amazingly, this story has all telesnaps currently existing in full, so 70 for episode 1, 65 for episode 2, 70 for episode 3, and 73 for episode 4. No censorship clips were ever made, so they aren't currently existing. And 44 seconds of footage exists from home video recordings from the 1960s. The Smugglers, four episodes in length, currently all missing from the archives. Who brought them? Australia, Barbados, Zambia, New Zealand, Sierra Leone and Singapore. The idea is that there's three possible prints of this story that were ever made based on the broadcast dates. When were they junked? BBC Enterprises junked their copy in 1974. All the master tapes were wiped in 1974, and the BBC received a shipment from Australia for junking in 1975. What does survive? Amazingly, this story's telesnaps exist in full, so 71 for episode 1, 67 for episode 2, 
71 for episode 3, and 71 for episode 4. There are 9 censorship clips made for this story. 3 exist in full, 1 partially exist, the rest are currently missing. The actor James Hodges Bly was born in 1890, starred in this episode. That means he's the only person to ever to star in Doctor Who born in the 19th century. Tenth Planet. Four episodes long, only one episode is missing, which is episode four. Who brought them? Australia, New Zealand and Singapore. The idea is that there are two possible prints of this episode based on their broadcast dates. The master tape for episode four was raised in 1969. BBC Villiers House junked their copy of this story in 1974 and the rest of the master tapes were raised later in the year. The BBC received shipment from Australia for junking in 1975. All of the teleslaps exist for this story including episode four. Also 54 seconds of the missing story exists on home video recordings and there are two censorship clips made for this story but partially exist due to these censor clips. This story would be the second to last Last time we see William Hartnell as Doctor Who outside of the Free Doctors. 